This data gives the results of an investigation to see whether the level of hydration affects the number of punches that can be thrown by boxers within simulated boxing rounds. The data shows six different boxers, A, B, C, D, E and F, at two levels of hydration, U hydration E and dehydration D for six rounds. We've got rounds one, two and three in bout one and rounds four, five and six in bout two. We also wish to test for the interaction between the hydration and the round and the bout and we have introduced two new variables HR and HB. To calculate values for these new variables we must first of all code hydration with a numeric variable and this is hydrat n where we will code 1 for u hydration and 2 for dehydration. We can then calculate the interaction variable between hydration and round by simply multiplying the value of hydrat n by the round number. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2. We can also calculate the value for the interaction between hydration and bout by multiplying hydrat n by the bout number, which we may have, for example, with dehydration coded as 2 multiplied by the bout number of 2 will give HB a value of 4. We wish to develop a model in which we can express the number of punches in terms of hydration, round, bout and the interactions between them. So we will go to stats, regression and we will use stepwise regression and in this case the response variable is the number of punches and we wish to express this in terms of the predictors, the hydration, round, bout and the interactions as our predictors. And under methods, we can choose the order in which we wish the stepwise regression to go. And we will use the backward elimination method and run the analysis. OK. The results appear in the session window in which we can see that the analysis has proceeded through three steps. And we see that at the start of the analysis, all of the variables are included, hydration, round, bout, and the two interactions. And we can see the p-value related to each of the uh, variables. And in the first instance, the hydration is the only significant p-value of 0 0.023. And then in the next step, the analysis removes the least significant variable, which is the round. So in step two, we have hydration, bout, and the two interactions. And we see now that the hydration is significant, the bout number is significant, and the interaction between bout and hydration is also significant. So in the third step, the interaction between hydration and round is removed, leaving a final model which has got the hydration, the bout and the interaction between the hydration and bout. The analysis also gives the coefficients of the different variables in the regression model. So we can see that the linear regression model would be 47 times the value of hydrat n plus 59 times the value of bout and minus 43 times the value of the interaction variable between hydration and bout. And this would be plus a constant of 82.33. We could also perform this analysis using a different stepwise approach. And under methods, we can now choose forward selection and run OK, OK. In the forward selection method, the first step identifies the first significant variable, which in this case is the interaction term H times B. And then the second stage 
introduces the next most significant value, which will be the bout number. And then the third stage introduces the next most significant, which would be hydrat n. So we end up with the same three variables as in the backward elimination method, giving the same coefficients 47, 59, minus 43, and the constant of 82.3. And the forward selection method stops at this point because there is no other variable which can be introduced with a significant contribution to the model. So the forward elimination and the backward elimination have produced the same results in this particular case.